Job 36. Elihu believes that God is disciplining Job. Elihu added, Bear with me a little, and I will show you that there is more to say on God's behalf. I may search far and wide for my arguments, but I will ascribe righteousness to God my Maker. For the fact is that my words are true. You have with you a man whose views are pure. Look, God is powerful and despises no one, powerful in his strength of understanding. He does not preserve the lives of the wicked, but he gives justice to the poor. He does not withdraw his eyes from the righteous, but when he sets kings on their throne forever, they may become proud. If, then, they are bound in chains, held in oppressive cords. He shows them the results of their doings, the crimes caused by their pride. He sounds a warning in their ears and orders them to repent of their evil. If they pay attention and obey him, they spend their days in prosperity, their years pass pleasantly. But if they don't pay attention, they perish by the sword and die without learning their lesson. The godless in heart cherish their anger, not crying for help when he binds them. Their soul perishes in their youth, and their life becomes depraved. God, with his affliction, delivers the afflicted, and he gets their attention by pressing on them. Indeed, Ayof, he is drawing you away from distress to an untroubled open place, with rich food on your table. But the judgment on the wicked applies fully to you, judgment and condemnation take hold of them. For beware of wrath when abundance entices you, don't let a big bribe turn you aside. Will your great wealth help you, or all your efforts, no matter how strong? Don't desire the night, when people suddenly die. Be careful, turn away from wrongdoing, for because of this, you have been tested by affliction. Elihu reminds Job of the greatness of God. Look, God is exalted in his strength, who is a teacher like him. Whoever prescribed his course for him, whoever said, what you are doing is wrong, Remember, rather, to magnify his work, of which many have sung. Everyone has seen it, but humans see it only from a distance. Look, God is great, beyond what we can know. The number of his years is uncountable. He makes the droplets of water, which condense into rain from his mist. The clouds pour it down upon humankind in abundance. Can anyone fathom the spreading of the clouds, or the crashes that come from his canopy? See how he scatters his lightning over it and covers the roots of the sea. By these things he judges the people and also gives food in plenty. He gathers the lightning into his hands and commands it to strike the target. Its crashing announces its presence and apprises the cattle of what is coming.